Good afternoon folks, Joey Nelson here taking a look at our Kuski manufactured by 2020 Manufacturing. This is a, a unit that we designed specifically for our RV park down in Kuski, Idaho. Uh, we wanted more of that uh, country modern kind of farmhouse look to it so we did the white uh, party lap siding with the black trim. Another thing we wanted to do was the ductless mini split system. Those are the pipes that you see coming out over the window. That is the uh, condensing lines for the mini split head unit. Um, it's nice because you could do a two or a three head system. You could put one in the bedroom loft and living room area. It does dual zone so you can do heating and cooling. Really energy efficient units. So we went ahead and we did one. It should be capable of keeping the whole house cool. Another thing we did was the tankless on-demand hot water tank. Not a whole lot of manufacturing plants put these types of water tanks on, but this particular manufacturer does offer it. You might uh, see all the piping down here. We provide heat tape receptacles for the water lines so it prevents it from freezing, uh, for those of you that might wonder about that. Another thing this customer did is they actually designed it for the property specifically so we put a hitch off the bedroom end and not on the hitch end or on the porch end that's just the way his property is laid out it's easier for the truck to just back it into position rather than trying to pull it through because that's where his view was at and it was right on basically a cliff so truck wouldn't be able to pull through he would just back it right in a little bump out here on this side Really pleased with the way this one came out. This one's getting ready to leave our lot here, going over to Western Washington. This is a lofted model. You'll see that we did the cathedral peak in the living room and the porch. And then you've got the lofted ceiling to go all the way to the back. So it's got a nice transition to roof line. It's got a good curb appeal. It does have an eight foot front porch. It comes with Trex decking. You see the uh, natural wood for the handrails and the pickets. Um, you can get that wrapped in hardy board material and have it painted to match your trim, or you can have it stained. Just depends on what colors you like to go with. Also has a keyless entry, which is kind of nice. 36 inch man door, real secure. Takes up little wall space. All right, let's take a look here. I'm going to turn around face towards the living room here and I wanted to show you what we did here on the ceiling. We took a dark walnut stain and stained uh, the pine for the ceiling and we also did that around all the trim around the windows, doors, and floorboards. Kind of has a cool accent color. We also did white shiplap for the interior walls. So you don't have to worry about drywall cracking after transport, it's easy to maintain. A lot of people really like doing the full shiplap interior just because it's low maintenance. Something else I wanted to point out. Uh, we put the door all the way off to the side where the entertainment center was at because on this side, that's where your couch, your furniture, all that stuff's gonna be. So now you've got the two windows there and the window back here. So you've got plenty of wall space to put uh, whatever furniture you wanted to in the living room. Now, if you centered that door up right in the center, then it really limits where you're gonna be able to put your furniture. And that's why we always put it off to one side closest to the TV entertainment center. They're all Cascade dual pane, low E vinyl windows. I really like this kitchen because it's got a little bit of a, um, we did the wood accent underneath, but you could put bar stools underneath that as well. So you can combine your, your dining space and your kitchen, which really makes for a big living room space when you do that. We did the white cabinets with black hardware. Got the pennant lights up there tied up for transport so they don't bang around during transport. Uh, there's the ductless mini split system that does heating and cooling. We also did the stainless steel appliance package, full extension backsplash. You can obviously pick any color you'd prefer. Backsplash, countertops, cabinets, flooring, everything you could pick out yourself. This is what our customer chose specifically. They wanted the whites and you know the dark accents with the wood. Give it that farmhouse look. 22 cubic foot stainless steel French door refrigerator. 
does have water and ice in the door and it has a ton of storage space up here above there. It's gotta be at least 36 inches wide and about 24 inches deep. So there's tons of storage up there. Uh, you can put cabinet doors if you wanted to. The customer wanted it open. I think uh, he was putting all his pots and pans and stuff up there and, and uh, spice racks and stuff. So that's what the customer decided to do. All right, now we're in the hallway. This is the staircase, kind of an interesting staircase, how it kind of uh, jays off into the corner here. So it almost has like a spiral staircase look. It's kind of cool. Looking up here, we did the full extended loft. So this extends over the bathroom, hallway, and the bedroom. You get twice the square footage up here. Plenty of room for a queen size mattress. We got, a, got outlets every six running feet up here. Not limited to where you can put your TV or entertainment. And tons of can lights too. We've got about six of them up in the loft. All LED can lights. Did the handrails to match the trim. Here in the hallway, you've got a little broom closet where you can turn it into a pantry. Got this 24 inch stackable washer and dryer. We do this on every stock unit we get. We want the washer and dryer space. If you didn't want it, we just basically turn it into a linen cabinet for you. So that's something we would talk about during the customization side of things. Bathroom, a little bit more simple. We did the upgraded sink and faucet in this one. Once again, white cabinets. Got the high rise uh, toilet. And turning around here, got a 48 inch walk-in shower with seats. Customer did not want glass. He uh, thought it would be a little bit harder to keep clean, so he's doing a curtain rod. However, you can put a glass enclosure in if you'd like to. Now we're coming into the bedroom here. So I get a lot of questions from people. Hey, can you fit a king size mattress in these park models? I'm telling you, it's really tight. I would not recommend doing it. Queen is gonna be the best fitting mattress for any park model. Notice we still continued the uh, dark stained ceilings in the bedroom. The closet, all adjustable shelving with mirrored doors, those slide left to right. The home shipping loose. There's the mini split air conditioner right there. Everything shipped loose. Don't want uh, to have it installed on the house during transport. Have the you know, possibility of it falling off and, and breaking. So we ship everything loose and have it installed on site. Also got a TV location in the closet. And we're coming back through to the living room. Anyways, this was the Kuski um, manufactured out of our 2020 manufacturing facility. We designed this for our brand new RV park we're developing in Kuski, Idaho. It's gonna have 70 lots with riverfront lots as well. Um, hopefully we'll have that done by summertime, but really excited. And this house actually came out looking pretty nice. So our customer is really excited to have it. Anyways, if you have any uh, questions, feel free to give us a call. 888-222-2699. Uh, Joey Nelson with Park Model Homes. 888-222-2699. Thank you.